what's up everybody welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you a quick and simple fix for the weapon clipping issue in most first person projects so as we all know uh, if we have a weapon sticking out of our capsule component and we walk too close up to a wall it gets clipped inside of the wall and in in real there's not really a simple option to add a second camera or is there so i'm going to show you how to fix this quick and simple so I have a first person project over here, it's uh, pretty uh, simple, um, it's just a normal first person character with a character mesh into weapon meshes, a normal camera. So you're going to need a character and you're also going to need a HUD of some kind. And first of all we're going to create a render target, so we're going to right click, go to textures and create a render target over here. So we're going to use this for our capture component. So uh, call this something like texture render target and then uh, first person arms or something. And we want to open this up and increase the size of it. So over here, size X and Y, we're going to say uh, 1920 by 1080. And then save it. Then we also need a material, so we're going to right click again, create a new material, and let's call this uh, material uh, first person arms, for example. Open this one up, and we need to select this node over here and change the material domain to be user interface. And then for the blend mode, we're going to set it to translucent. Now we can drag in the texture that we just created. So simply drag it into the material. And now we're going to hook up the RGB pin to the final color. And we're going to drag off the alpha over here. And we're going to look for a 1 minus node. 1 minus. And then we're going to hook it up to the opacity channel. Save it. And that's the material done as well. So now let's go to our first person character. Uh, we want to create a scene capture component in here. So let's go to the viewport and I'm going to add a component and look for the scene capture component. Mm. So this one, scene capture component 2D, that simply means it renders to a texture. So we're going to select this one and I'm going to attach it to my first person camera and then simply zero out the transforms. So it's in the exact same position as my first person camera over here. Then we want to go into the settings of the scene capture component. We're going to scroll down a bit over here. The texture target, we're going to select our created render target. So the first person arms. And then a little bit further down, the primitive render mode. You want to select use show only list over here. So make sure you have these two set up. And then we want to go to the uh, character mesh. So in my case, that's the arms and the two weapon meshes, uh, all three of them. And on the right side, we're going to look for the rendering over here. And then you need to expand the advanced section. And in here, uh, you want to make sure that you don't have owner no C or only owner C enabled. So simply make sure these are set to default. <laughs> and then we want to say over here, uh, visible in scene capture only. So select this one. And you will see the arms disappear over here, but that doesn't really matter. So we have that one set up as well. And now uh, all we need to do is add it to our HUD. And we also want to go to the construction script of the character. So let's do that first. Go to the construction script. We're going to drag in our scene capture component. And for here, we're going to look for um, show only component. So we're going to create a list of components that will be visible in the render target. So we're going to copy and paste this three times in my case, because I have three meshes as a component, the arms and two weapons. So make sure you hook up the render, uh, the capture component, sorry. And then we're going to drag in our character meshes and simply hook them up to each one of these nodes. Like so. Compile this and save it. And the last thing we need to do is go into our HUD. So I'm going to open my in-game HUD. Simply drag in an image. And for the anchors, I'm going to set it to 
full screen over here and then uh, make sure the offsets are set to zero so it actually covers the entire screen and then below here for the brush we're going to select our material so that's our first person arms material not the render target and there we have our arms so you want to make sure the material is all the way at the bottom of the list so it gets rendered as the uh, lowest image or you can also change the z order over here to set it to minus one or make sure all the other things have a higher z order so let's compile and save it and this should actually be all so now we can hit play and if i walk up to a wall you can see there's no longer any weapon clipping so that's fixed and as you can see by the purple light over here the reflections and all of that stuff shadows all of those uh, still work so yeah that's pretty much everything you need to do to fix your weapon clipping and the cool thing about this is that you can also change uh, the fov for example so we have a first person camera we can change the field of view without changing the field of view of the weapons so now we have a much bigger field of view but our weapon is still field of view 90 and obviously we can also go to the scene capture component and mess around in here so we can change the field of view of the weapon or add a post process effects and things like that so this is a pretty neat setup and as you can see you can do it in a couple of minutes so that's all i got for you guys i uh, hope you enjoyed this quick and fast tutorial and i'll also be back uh, sort of making videos for the multiplayer ai a series that has been paused for a long time so hopefully new videos for that soon as well so thanks for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like and i'll see you in the next one bye bye